Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Happy very last day of 2022. Adios to a crazy year. Um, I can't believe it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> I actually just got done filming my first video of 2023. You're going to see it tomorrow. It is uh, a part of my best of series. So um, if you are interested in my favorite home fragrance picks over the course of 2022 from the brands that I really focused the most on, I do have a, a best of series coming up for those brands. Um, I think those videos are mostly going to go up at the beginning of January here, so the first couple weeks. Um, I will have a best of for uh, Kringle, Homeworks, Bath and Body Works, and Nest. Um, obviously Sensi, which I already mentioned. Um, I just decided to focus on the brands that I tended to just purchase the most from over the last year. I did purchase a few candles here and there from some other random brands, but for the most part, I tend to be pretty brand loyal when it comes to home fragrance. If I find a company that has the types of fragrances that I typically love, or they just have a really great wax formula and perform incredibly well, or, you know, their packaging is especially gorgeous, like, I will definitely um, continue to purchase from that particular brand. So, anyway, if you are interested in those videos, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Those will be popping up in your subscription feed over the course of the next couple of weeks. But today we are gonna talk about the very last home fragrance roundup for 2022. I want to continue this series in uh, the next year because I think it's become one of my favorites to do. I do it every single Saturday. I tell you guys about the candles that I was burning, the wax melts that I was melting, the candles I was crocking or lamping, um, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. I just really enjoy this video in particular because it gives me a chance to really think about what I've been using. I, mean, I definitely inform opinions like throughout the week, like, yeah, I don't know, I don't really like this candle or it's not burning well or whatever, you know, but it's kind of nice to sit down and like line everything up and take a look and then think like, oh, that's great or nah, I, don't. I think I'm just going to pass this along to someone else. It gives me a chance to sort of take a deep dive and I think that's a good thing to do. So anyway, um, I will be putting some links in the description box but right below this video because I'm sure there are some new people that are watching this video for the very first time and you're probably going to be like, what's a candle crock? What's a candle lamp? What are, what are those used for? Yada yada. Uh, check out the description box. I'm going to put links to other videos that I did that you can watch. They are in-depth videos um, about candle lamps, candle crocks, um, things like that. I will put links to the candle crocks and the candle lamps that I tend to like the best. I do think that I want to maybe update both of those videos this next year at some point. Um, I just do that every couple of years. At least I have for my croc video. Um, and oh my god, I still have those original crocs that I bought years ago. <laughs> They're still kicking, you guys. They're just such a wonderful candle accessory, especially if you have candles that are, you know, causing you problems or issues or anything like that. Definitely worth checking out. I will also put links to where you can purchase any of the things that I'm showing here. Um, it's always a plethora of information in that description box, so make sure you check that out. Without further ado, uh, let's get into what I was warming the last week. It was mostly focused on finishing stuff from, like, leftovers from Christmas up, essentially. Um, there's a few things that I think I'm going to be dragging into the new year. There is one candle that I think I'm actually going to put away, and I never do this, but I think I'm going to put my very first candle away for next holiday season, um, only because it's, like, it's a very, well, let's, let's talk about it. It's this one. I think I'm going to put this away <laughs> till next year. What is this? This is Velispa Gilt Pomander and Hinoki. I've already done an in-depth review of this. In fact, I think most of these candles here have an in-depth review. I'm also going to be mentioning a few that I still have reviews coming up on. So if you're curious, I promise these reviews are coming. But uh, Gilt Pomander and Hinoki was one that I was that I've been recommended for like several years in a row to try out from Velispa. This is a one wick. I will say, as much as I love so many of the Velispa fragrances, I just don't find that the strength and throw are substantial enough for the price point. So um, 
This is one of those brands that I purchased because I love their packaging. This is such a gorgeous presentation, and this one did incredibly well in my downstairs powder room. So I think if there's a special area that you're looking for a really beautiful candle for, and it might sound weird that you would put a fancy candle in your bathroom, but this is our downstairs powder room. This is where all of our guests use the bathroom, and I, I do try to make it a nice inviting space. That probably sounds bizarre. Like, why does your bathroom need to be inviting? I don't know. I feel like I want my whole house to be inviting. I want you to be comfortable if you need to take a whiz at my house, and I want you to also smell delicious things like this fragrance. This is a very interesting scent. Hinoki is a very unique, sweet, woody scent. Um, this is not what I expected it to be at all, honestly, when I first smelled it, um, especially after the amount of times that I've been recommended to try this fragrance. I like it. I don't love this fragrance, however, but it's a gorgeous jar. It's this beautiful gold, like mercury glass type finish. It's, and, and it's glass. It's just so pretty. Um, and it does come with a pretty solid lid. This is also a glass lid here. So I feel like this will hold up well until next holiday season. I am going to kind of hide it in the guest room closet so that I don't come across it and see it. Because when I see a half finished candle, it, I just, I start to itch. I'm like, what, why? No, don't put things that are used away, finish it. Which is why the Crocs are very helpful for me. And there are some things this week that are probably going to end up in a crock because once I take down all of the holiday decor, which I have not yet, obviously, but I will um, this first week of uh, January coming up here. So, um, but once I do that, um, I, d I don't want to smell a lot of these holiday scents anymore. I just get really bummed out when I put Christmas away. So... You guys, this is such a fantastic scent and I am going to, I'm gonna send Mick a personal message and just ask him if he can just promise us that he will make a Kringle wishing for Christmas permanent. Love, oh my God, I love this scent, you guys. This is one of my favorite scents from Kringle this year. You will see this in my top five um, coming up here later on this week get out of town with how good this is. I I wanna see this in a three wick, but I wanna see it in a three wick that is basically this like mercury jar style, or I don't know. Come up with, uh, Kringle does great with labels. I'm sure they'll come up with a beautiful label, but they just need to bring the smell back. So this is a mix of cookies, vanilla, sugar cane, and pine, which sounds like a bunch of random crap thrown together, but oh my God, does it smell good. It smells like going to your grandma's house on Christmas and she's baking cookies, but she has like a real tree, you know, cause she's old school. It's just so good. I, I cannot get enough of this one. And I purchased, I think five of these, and this is my second one. So I have three more that I am literally just storing until next holiday season. So I need Mick to bring this back. Mick, if you are listening it back <laughs> or else <laughs> I will have a conniption no I mean I'm a grown-up I'll get over it if he doesn't but I just I think so many people would love this one if you got this one let me know your thoughts unless you hated it in which case zip it I don't want to hear it because you're a liar <laughs> it's so good I love it so much all right this is another one that I have been finishing up this week this is a very like classic holiday scent and it's called holiday it is from Nest. Now I did find a very similar dupe, not exact, but from the Sweetwater Decor Candle Company. They have a fragrance called Christmas Number no. 25. So similar, gorgeous packaging, slightly more wax, more burn time, and bonus, doesn't get sooty. Now this one did not get sooty, but I have to watch my nest candles a little bit more carefully, especially the three wick candles. Um, the one wicks are usually okay, but you gotta watch a nest candle. You don't wanna leave them burning for hours and hours on end, but man, Laura Slatkin, just like her husband Harry, has a nose for fragrance. And one thing that I find Laura does really well is sophisticated, fancy lady scents like I just really and she looks like a fancy lady right like when you look at Laura Slatkin that gorgeous like bouffant do that she has all the time and she's just dressed 
like impeccably. Um, you just think that's a fancy lady and she is a fancy lady who has a nose for fancy fragrances and I just think whatever she comes up with is absolutely beautiful and sophisticated and um, definitely more expensive but worth it as a splurge type item. So holiday has been a staple for me for years and years. I always splurge on it every holiday season because it is so good. It's just sweet but just warm, cozy, inviting, welcoming. It's, it's all of the good things. So anyway, from Nest to Homeworks. So I'm almost done. <laughs> I did burn this one uh, most of Christmas Day. Um, I probably burned it a lot longer than I should for a Homeworks candle. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't pay attention to a Homeworks candle. And this is something that I hope gets addressed with the candles that are coming out for spring, summer, fall holiday season this year um obviously we a lot of us are hoping for some positive changes for homeworks uh i don't know uh, i really hope to leave the negativity with homeworks behind in 2022 and i hope that they address a lot of their issues um but you know obviously we will see that coming up here but this is apple butter waffles and this was fantastic for christmas um just a i just hit myself in the nose with it <laughs> A very warm, sweet, cozy. There's definitely a waffle note in here and there's definitely like an apple note as well. But it's just incredibly well done. The strength and throw of this, we're kind of on par with what I mostly experienced from Homeworks this year, which is a strength of about like a five or a six roughly. So more of like a medium, medium throw or strength uh, and the throw is also roughly in the medium range as well so between like a five and a six i just i know that homeworks can give us more and i really hope that they are going to go back to giving us the most i am very hopeful but anyway i love this one i'm probably going to finish this one up today and um get it into uh it's going to end up going into next month's empties pile because i already did my empties for the month of december if you missed my home fragrance empties I'll link those in the description box down below. All right, let's talk another Homeworks candle here that I was loving this week, but just, I think I just lit this one once or twice this week. It's Praline Pecan. I love this one. I don't really love the label. I, I don't know. Looks like pecan pie filling, and uh, I have something against pecan pie. I think it's disgusting, but I love the smell of this candle. <laughs> I don't know. What, what is it about pecan pie? Like, it just is this gelatinous, nutty goo, and... I don't know, Craig loves it. He just shovels it into his mouth like it is the last thing he's ever gonna eat. And I just, I don't get it. I don't think it's delicious at all. <laughs> and the texture of it, mm, yeah, not here for it. Anyway, this is pecan, creamy toffee, whipped vanilla and almond butter. This is the perfect like scent lineup because you smell all of those things in here. I have several backups of this. Um, I actually had, I think another one of these did I put one in my order that got lost? Did I tell you guys what happened with my homeworks order? I'm never gonna get it. Um, so I did finally get customer service to get back to me. It took a while, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and so I received tracking information for my homeworks candle order that I placed on, I can't remember if I placed this order on the 23rd of November or the 20th. It was one of those two dates. Anyway, I received tracking information from FedEx. I hate FedEx. Whenever I see they're gonna ship something FedEx, I'm like, bah, the FedEx drivers, I don't know, they're, they're not paying these people enough to give a crap because they just literally, they will either just not deliver my packages or they'll deliver them to the wrong house, usually the neighbors behind us, um, or they throw my packages at the end of our driveway, which is, on the street like, we don't live on a super busy street but it's a street with cars and people that go by that could just take my package anyway moral of the story is um according to homeworks the package was lost by fedex now the package never moved out of what is it edison new jersey i think so I don't know. I don't I don't know what happened. I just I know that Homeworks 
was saying that they were having problems with their shipping facility. I don't know if someone at the shipping facility just didn't like get handed over to FedEx and it's like sitting in some warehouse somewhere or I'm sure FedEx could have lost it. Like I, I wouldn't put it past them. Um, but essentially they refunded me. I got my money back and that's fine. But I wish I would have had the candles because there were a bunch of the blueberry muffin candles in there that I really wanted to try. Now that one does seem to be showing up at some home goods, Marshall's TJ Maxx. Um, but you know, I don't know. I would have rather had my candles, but at least I have some money back. So I will put that homeworks money towards another homeworks package uh, that will be at my doorstep at some point, probably when the spring stuff starts coming up. I don't know. But anyway, that's what happened with homeworks. Let's talk about this one right here. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't pay attention to a homeworks candle and you let it go for, I think I let this one go for six hours. Are you ready? Okay, so this one was my bad. <laughs> um, the I let this go for, I'm pretty sure it was six hours, way too long. And these particular wicks get the huge mushroom tops, as you can see. And um, the wax pool was very deep. <laughs> like It was almost to the bottom. And when I blew it out, um, I put the lid on it immediately, but I think that that caused the wicks to flop even further into the wax. And when I opened it, I saw this and I was like, well, shit. Uh, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do with this spiced eggnog here is I'm just going to pop it underneath my candle lamp and, um, try to like liquefy the wax, see if I can dig these up again cut them very short and then try to burn it. Um, but also I might just leave this underneath my candle lamp because I don't know, at this point, I'm not really into the spiked eggnog. Like again, holiday fragrances are coming to a close for me. I need to change it up and this definitely screams holiday to me. So, um, listen, I am not above admitting that homeworks candles have had issues this year, but a lot of times when I see this, like, I'll see people posting about this and I'm like, how long were you burning it? <laughs> Cause this is typically what will happen to me when I burn the homeworks candles too long. It is why I have a strict two and a half to three hour rule max. And whenever I lose track of time or don't pay attention, that's when stuff like this happens. Should it for the price point? Probably not, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, um, I've just learned to work with these wicks and this is kind of what works best for me, but also you can mess up like I did and that'll happen. Okay. Uh, juniper and laurel. Now I kind of busted this one out at the last minute on Christmas Eve and I really like this one. Oh, I like this one a lot. This is amazing. Juniper can come off as cat pee for some people. Um, it doesn't for me typically actually quite like the smell of juniper um, and this one is very fresh very clean very Christmassy I hope this one sticks around again next year um, I just really enjoyed it a lot and um, big fan so but that might end up in a crock <laughs> um, I need to review this one um, so this is the three wick version of cozy cabin I believe that I have already reviewed cozy cabin before but never in the three wick soy. I believe I reviewed it in the soy blend possibly. <sighs> I think. Anyway, uh, moral of the story is Kringle is switching over to the soy formula exclusively for their three wicks and burns so well. I love these three wicks from them. I, this is, I think this is the best thing that Kringle did this year um, is getting rid of the soy blend because that wax always got dirty and messy for me and then it affected the smell of the fragrance and just the overall look of the candle. Plus their soy formula is amazing. There's lots more soy to come in the new year for Kringle so I hope you guys are excited. I, I am. I'm going to be visiting Kringle at some point this year. Um, I'm very excited about that. I need to plan that out. Uh, I just, I think that will be an amazing trip to the East Coast. Um, I also wanna go to New York City again. Craig and I love New York City. We went in November of 2019 before, you know, the Rona hit. 
Um, I'm sure it was probably actually already there when we were there. But um, moral of the story is I loved it, but a week wasn't enough time. Um, I, th I think we were actually only there for about like five days. Not enough time. So there's much more that I wanna see. So I think we're gonna combine like a, a Boston, New York type trip this next year. So looking forward to that. I also burned this uh, this week a little bit. This is Chestnut Woods. Mm, this one is very interesting. Um, I see myself probably finishing this one outside in the backyard over the month of January. Sometimes I will do that. This is a very sweet woodsy chestnut scent. Um, this was part of the Christmas in July special for over on QVC. Chestnut, charred praline, smoked cedar, and mahogany. Yeah, this is a lot like um, woodier and smokier than I normally tend to go for, but I've actually kind of been enjoying it in the family room. That being said though, now that Christmas is over, I do think I just wanna kind of like, I'll probably put it out in the backyard. We'll smell that for New Year's, it'll be delightful. What else do we have? So we have some wax melts and then very quickly, I'm gonna tell you some uh, candles that I'm still gonna be lighting up and reviewing. Um, that, that'll be coming up. Okay, I have almond croissant. I just did two of those cubes this week because why not? Um, and then I did wild for fall and then I, I found, you guys, I found another brick. <laughs> I found another brick of spiced eggnog. I really thought my last brick was my last one. No, no, I was so excited. <laughs> so I decided to use the whole thing this week. So this week I was either just doing the spiked eggnog, spiced eggnog on its own. Um, oh, this is spiked eggnog. Okay, this is spiked, this is just spiced. Um, but I decided to just do this on its own for a little bit and then I also mixed half and half uh, wild for fall and spiced eggnog together, which was also a delightful combination. So, and when I say I mix my wax, I mix it in the same warmer. So like a cube of each type of thing, obviously because these cubes are significantly larger, I cut these in half and then I just use one of these cubes. And so that is what gave me that amazing combination of the holiday tree and the eggnog, which doesn't sound like it would be delightful together, but it was delicious and delightful. And now I'm really sad to be out of spiked eggnog or spiced eggnog, but I'm glad that I used it up. That was kind of my goal for a lot of my like Scentsy wax over the course of the last several months is just to like use up a lot of this fall stuff, use up a lot of the holiday stuff, get it out of the system, and then next holiday season, just kind of stock up on all my favorites again. So um, there's also Bring Back My Bar coming up here, which I'm getting ready to place an order with Lisa, of course. Um, so look for a Bring Back My Bar video coming up here soon. All right, candles that are still to come. Now, I do have a couple of Homeworks candles. I have a New Year's and then one of those black hobnails as well. So those reviews will be coming here in the new year. I was kind of saving those for January. Um, from Kringle, I still have Fireplace. Um, this is kind of a nice smoky scent. I mean, this would definitely be something that a lot of people I think would still warm into, especially January and February. A lot of people still do tree scents or like smoky hearth type fragrances. Um, I tend to not, but I know a lot of you guys do. Now, I don't know if any of these are still available. If they are, they're probably part of the clearance sale. So definitely partake if you are interested. This one here is Merry Christmas. Now this one is a very, it's very cinnamon forward. Um, I've already started burning it a little bit. This is one where I'm gonna burn it a couple more times for the review, but I just, I don't love this fragrance. It, just not for myself because it does have quite a bit of cinnamon in it. And it leans somewhat like red hot cinnamon, which is not my favorite. I tend to prefer, prefer a softer like, gourmand, more like Ceylon cinnamon type note, at least when it comes to my cinnamons. And then this one is one that I think might actually be really nice for the early spring. This is Sweet Winter Mint. Very minty. Very minty. Um, what's is this peppermint in here? Sweet mint, peppermint, anise, galbanum, marine, Leafy green, cyclamen, eucalyptus, liquid sugar. 
there is an odd sweetness to this. I just, I, I pick up a lot in here. I definitely smell the eucalyptus. Um, this I think would feel, or seems like it would be a really nice like bathroom type fragrance, a good like candle to light when you're taking a bubble bath or something and trying to clear your mind. So there's that. And then the other one, this is another one of the three wicks. Um, this is Deck the Halls. I don't think I've ever reviewed Deck the Halls. This is one that I think a lot of people would probably also enjoy into the new year. It's kind of spicy on cold sniff, but also it has tonka bean in it. And yeah, I really smell that tonka. So this is cinnamon, clove, tonka, spice, tonka bean, almond, musk, vanilla, su vanilla sugar, and amber. Yeah, clove for sure. Also cinnamon for sure. But a lot of tonka in here. Heavy on the tonka. So anyway, those are reviews that are still to come. Um, I'll try to get to those as soon as possible. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you are interested in my best of series, it kicks off tomorrow with Sensi and we'll go from there. Please subscribe if you are new. Be sure to check out that description box down below for any questions, things like that. If you would like to let me know what you are warming uh, over New Year's, uh, please do that down below in the comments as well. So thanks so much for being here this year. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, here's to an amazing 2023 and a fresh start and um, just a beautiful new year for everybody. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!